Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a custom backpack. We're going to go from this to this using our Cricut um, and a heat press. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, jump right into design space. And so for this backpack, she wanted her initials. So we're just going to go ahead and type them in SJC. And I'm going to go through the fonts. Um, to see which one fits best now every time I go to make a video it's like everything that can go wrong usually does um, so I was unable to screen record on my computer it just did not want to act right so unfortunately I had to screen record on my phone and we get this weird viewpoint but it's what we're gonna have to do for now um, so initially I stuck with that um, font, but I moved on and didn't actually show when I um, switched the font and I used one of the free Cricut fonts. Now Cricut does have free fonts. You can check through those. Um, but the other thing that she wanted on this backpack was some butterflies. Now I purchased this bundle for $2 from designbundles.net. Um, I will try to link it in the description if I remember sometimes or a lot of the times I forget. So my apologies if I do forget and you are interested, please let me know in the comments and that'll be the reminder that I need. Um, so I just go ahead and make sure that um, all of those little inside pieces are, you know, taken out so that the cut image will cut the way it's supposed to. Um, now you can do a print then cut, but in this is instance, you don't need to, but say if it was something that was fully colored, um, you would want to do a print then cut, but because I'm just using the design and I have like a holographic vinyl, I am doing just a cut. Now also, I'm just going to say, I do not recommend doing these butterflies because all of those little... I'm going to say circles even though they're not actually circles but all of those little inner pieces I had to weed every single last one of those and it's so much harder when you're doing small butterflies so that's just something to consider I would maybe do a few butterflies and maybe a few hearts or a few butterflies and a few stars if you don't want to do as much weeding but yeah And so here I'm just resizing some of them because I don't have the biggest space to work with. I'm making them between one and two inches wide and I'm just allowing it to auto size the height based on the width. Um, Cause when that lock is on, it'll automatically readjust it based on the proportions of the original. Um, but you can click that little lock and unlock it and make the height exactly what you want and the width exactly what you want. So there were multiple butterflies in this bundle. So I'm just uploading each one um, and I'm actually naming them all butterfly because when you go to your uploads, you can just search a title or search a tag. Um, and that just makes it easier for me um, when I'm looking for something specific. I could just type in what I'm looking for and that description will make it pop up.
So here I'm just going back in and doing some resizing. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what size I wanted them and I thought, you know, one to two inches would be good. But actually after I cut these, I realized that the, some of these were a little too small. Um, so I went back and made a couple more that were a little bit bigger. But you get the gist of all of it. So now that I have that all completed, I go to cut them on my mat. Now I ended up using the same vinyl for both. So they actually could be put all together on one mat. But it's not, it doesn't have to be that way. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So just, just a quick reminder, if you are doing iron on, this needs to be mirrored so that um, it'll iron on the correct way. Now this is the vinyl I'm using. That shiny holographic side is the side that's going to be showing on the garment and the back side is the side that we will cut it on. So this is the backpack that I will be using and this is my Teflon sheet that I am going to be using for added protection. Um, because I've never actually done this before so I just rather be safe. I just placed a couple books inside to make our surface a little more hard and it will help us to apply pressure to get that vinyl to really stick. So I am going to place that Teflon sheet inside and then once I put my vinyl on I am going to flip it over so that I can place the iron onto the Teflon sheet because I do not want this backpack to burn this material I'm not exactly sure about so I only set my press to 285 I normally heat press items at 375 but one I don't want to burn this backpack and two I'm just not sure and I couldn't find too many tutorials on people doing backpacks but when I did the lady she said the vinyl kind of melted through the backpack so on the opposite side um, the bag was stuck to itself I guess kind of so I just want it to be as safe and as careful as possible so I'm just going to place my butterflies on here I don't have like um, design mapped out there is no right or wrong way for me to do this I was just told butterflies and initials and that was it so I'm just placing them however I feel however I see fit once I did um, weed them I cut them all individually so that I could place them in different areas um, yeah to just make it unique so in the beginning where I took the patch off that label that has the name on it um, there were some holes around there so I did place a couple of the butterflies kind of over that area but you can still kind of see that if you like really look at it but that didn't matter to me um, but you can always make your design cover that if you wanted to um, so this here is going to be the last butterfly that I place on those last two that I put on I actually did not weed at all so they're full um, without any holes in them but I actually like the way that looked so now I just fold that Teflon sheet over um, try to press it down before I put the iron on there and then I'm going to apply medium to very firm pressure um, I just want to al allow some heat on there first before I start sliding because I don't want anything to like move around so I want to just press it firmly first and once I feel like I have it even slightly adhered then I will begin to you know move it around like such and so because I had the temperature so low and also I think the Teflon sheet as well um, it took a little bit longer for everything to adhere now some were adhered sooner than others um, and I think because of the placement of the books I was able to apply more pressure on some areas than others um, but continue to check them and take as long as you need to because I mean honestly rushing is going to mess up your design and you're not going to get the desired outcome so if it takes 10 minutes of ironing 
take the whole 10 minutes. Don't try to force it in five because if you just rip that um, cover sheet off, nine times out of 10 on some of them, you're going to take half of your design off. Like that one, I had to put that back on top because like the top half was adhered to the backpack, but the bottom half was not. So here I'm just going to apply more pressure to the areas that did not stick to the backpack. So now everything is fully adhered. So I'm gonna take all these little cover sheet pieces off and I am going to take the books out of the larger section of the backpack and I'm going to put them in that front pocket because that is where I'm going to put her initials and I'm just gonna add a couple more butterflies around those initials. Now, because this Teflon sheet was doubled up, I think it made it a little bit harder for the heat to travel through and for me to get this adhered, but ultimately, I got it done. Um, when you're placing something like this, you want to try to make sure you get it as straight as possible, but also because it's not just a straight bottomed block letter, it won't look as bad if it's not perfectly straight because that bot those bottoms aren't exactly even. Again, if your letters are not sticking or fully adhered, just try um, applying more pressure. In this case, honestly, I could have, you know, turned up the temperature. That would have helped too. Not by too much. I probably wouldn't have gone over 300, 310 at the most. Um, but that would have helped. But honestly, just pressure and more time will help every time. Because I started to feel more comfortable with the material of this backpack, at this point, I was okay with taking that Teflon sheet off and just putting it straight on that protective sheet that's automatically on the vinyl. And just like that, a few seconds of pressure and everything did stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and add just a few more butterflies so that that bottom pocket doesn't look plain. Um, and then once I put them on and get them in the spot that I want them in, I'm going to put that protective sheet that was originally on the um, initials, I'm going to put that back over the whole thing because I don't want to melt any of that vinyl. And so no, I don't always click that timer when I'm doing this. Sometimes I'll just count to myself, um, but feel free to use your timer on your Easy Press. Um, it does help, especially when you're using specific vinyl that has a specific amount of time that you're supposed to press it.
and we are finally done it took a little extra time because of the temperature that i was using but here it is again you can kind of see the holographic colors um it's purple it's like yellow it's pinkish orangish depending on the angle you can see the different colors but yeah that's the finished product i hope you enjoyed it give us a subscribe hit that button <laughs>